Following military installations are no longer functional. Barstow, Fort Drum, Fort Mason, McClellan, Nellis, Norfolk, New London, and Wright-Patterson. Jesus. Bases are confirmed destroyed, with predicted casualties... There are easier ways to give up smoking, I'm told. I came here to ask for your help. We have several situations that require a senior agent, but with De Silva already in the field and me tied to a desk and Nils... Well, you're the only one I can trust with this. Just go to Ops and access the map. Do I have a choice? Not really. Glad to help out. Says our own technology won't cut it. The report from Georgia was pretty grim. At least you were able to bring back a few survivors. So then, where'd that thing in the hangar come It's bad out there. We rescued who we could, but it was too late for most of them. You mean those sleepwalkers? The labs don't have a clue about how that started, or how to fix them. What if there's no cure for them? If they're just stuck reliving the same moment over and over again? Trapped in their own head. Can't think of much worse than that. Let's hope there's a cure, then. Any intel on the Outsider Commander? Somebody's gotta be leading this invasion, right? You mean Axis? Yes and no. But let's just keep that between you and me. It's... complicated. Well, that's cryptic. Anyone could be listening in. And I've been tracking this case for too long to risk losing it now. We've already had one infiltrator. Think we've got more? Heinrich says they're working on a test, but we've already got the monster that tried to blow us up. I say we just pry the information out of his head. That might be why you're not allowed to interrogate him. You didn't know his victims like we did. Knowing he was walking around the base, watching us for who knows how long, you'd want him dead too. I'm going to get some answers. Good luck. Looks like you've had a rough time out there, Carter. Anything I can do to help? At this point, I could use a stiff drink. Helps when I need to think like the outsiders. Truth be told, after what we've been through, I bet the whole world could use a drink. I just said I could use a drink, Crud. Not that I was gonna have one. You don't want to see me after I've had a couple. Suit yourself, then. More for me. How is our infiltrator doing? He was screaming bloody murder at first, but then the doctors took something out of his head. Now he's calm as a pussycat. I thought they only did that in asylums. No, no, they removed some sort of device that was controlling him. Or maybe not controlling him, but sort of like a listening device. What do we know about the sleepwalkers? According to the doctors, they're in some sort of coma. Except they're walking around, and they've got no idea about the stuff around their eyes. If you get any insights, let us know. Will do, Carter. What was that? Are we under attack? Relax. Still working out some power issues. If we were under attack, we wouldn't have to ask.
So let me get this straight. A nuclear launch code was issued to a secret facility located here. But the bomb never launched, thankfully. And we're here to find out what went wrong. Or what went right. Nothing's what it seems anymore. your target. Confirm. Take it out. Targeting now. They've got that squad locked down. And sealed through up. <laughs> The scientists back at base radioed in with a quick nuclear missiles 101 lesson. They say that launching a nuke is a three-step process. Provide fuel, release fail-safe clamps, and specify target. It's all computer controlled. If any step fails, the launch is aborted. Fuel, release clamps, target. Got it. Any intel on the location of the computers? The computer terminals must be in the barns. They're the only structures that look large enough for that sort of infrastructure. Copy that. Yes, Commander. Tax dollars at work. What? Oh, no, no, no. It's already fueled up. Barnes, I got a set of launch coordinates here. 38 degrees, 53 minutes north, and 77 degrees, 2 minutes west. Oh my god. That's Washington, D.C. Then we better find that launch computer fast. This thing is ready to go. Carter, I know it's against protocol, but we have a chance to save some lives. We should warn people about this. And tell them what? They're about to get nuked by spacemen? They'd never believe us, would they? No, which is why we need to resolve this here and now. See him? Oh. 
killed it! Ready for orders. Put a mine there! Mine deployed! They're on the defensive! Focus on that target. Got it. Focus on that one. It's mine. Control should be just inside that bar. Through here. Let's go. human. They shot each other. One of them still got his launch key. Then we know it. The argument was over. Kicker is they were both right. This doesn't make sense, Barnes. The keys weren't turned simultaneously. The missile should already be locked down. <sighs> the outsiders must have bypassed the control somehow. And this nuke is getting launched whether we like it or not. We've got to get to the targeting computer. Going in. Take cover, sniper! Head down, sniper! Take cover, sniper! Sniper, get down! Take it out! Targeting now! Focus on that target! Confirm! Lay down a mine! Mine deployed! Enemy shield recharging! <clears throat> Stay 
Safety off. Here they come. Let's stay together here. Focus on that one. Targeting now. Attack. Taking it down. Shield orb there. Shield up. It's almost dead. Keep it up. That's your target.
the support agent destabilizes heavy targets. Armor is heavily damaged and targets are briefly vulnerable to incoming fire. Okay, the eggheads on our side say that the targeting system is so simple, a child could retarget a nuke. Put a lid on it. Barnes, give me some safe coordinates to send this nuke. I read you. Uh, try 11 degrees, 35 minutes north, and 165 degrees, 23 minutes east. Confirming. 11 degrees, 35 minutes north. 165 degrees, 23 minutes east. Barnes, what the hell did I just nuke? Bikini Atoll. Nuclear test site. Good work, Barnes. Let's head home.